You've heard about Unity and Playmaker, now you really want to learn it, so you've been looking up how to use it, but you're not really sure where to start. All I'm really going to do here is show you some resources that I have found on my journey of learning how to use Unity and Playmaker. So the first one I have here is Dumb Game Dev, and this is a YouTube account that is entirely focused on Playmaker. Uh, he's been pretty much the most helpful resource that I've used during this entire learning process. Organized by most popular, and you'll kind of get a lot of the really simple ones up front, a lot of the really sort of common things that you would want to learn. And he has a series of playlists that you can follow along with. This really is a place where you can learn the absolute fundamentals. So Dumb Game Dev comes highly recommended. Hutong Games, this is the publisher for Playmaker, and you can go to their official YouTube account, which is also extremely helpful because they break things down um, by action, by component. So you'll see that you can even do something here where like, like maybe you can go to sort by uh, date added oldest and you can sort of do it in a descending order because they have this right here the introduction then one two three four five five you know and this will kind of slowly push you towards a more intermediate or advanced level a lot of the stuff here is explained in really abstract ways but there's also a lot of stuff that's taught in really sort of practical use cases so next up is m.strange, and that's M-D-O-T Strange. It's an old friend of mine who has a YouTube channel that you'll see has a lot of film-related stuff because his background is in filmmaking. But if you search through this, you'll also find a good deal of uh, game-related stuff, particularly with Playmaker and Unity. So if you go to his playlist section, you'll see this, The Strange School Free Vids Plus Samples. So he has a paid course out there that'll actually teach you from the beginner level. But there is this playlist that has a selection of videos from the paid course that are freely available to the public. Uh, and there's a lot of really useful stuff in here, especially for more advanced users. Next up, we have Jinxter Games. This is also a YouTube channel. The thing about this YouTube channel is that he usually has sort of pre-built systems that he'll kind of just break down and show you how they work, as well as kind of building building up some of it, but a lot of it is sort of explaining how things that he already built work. This channel is more useful for learning intermediate things in Playmaker. Next up, we have the Playmaker Manual. The Playmaker Manual is really useful no matter where you are in your learning process, whether you're a beginner or whether you're very advanced. You can just come here to get a better idea of how certain pieces of Playmaker work. It gives you better definitions and stuff like that. So say you're working on something and you have an action in your project. For example, let's just say it's a find child action in game object and you can come to the Playmaker manual and just search find child. And more often than not, it will be the first result. So right here, find child. And it'll show you a little picture of it and it'll give you a, a breakdown of what each of these parts does. It says, finds the child of a game object by name. You can specify a path to the child. Example, left shoulder, arm, hand, finger. So that's really useful, you know, to get not only a breakdown of each part of that action, but also uh, an example of how it's used. So down here in this gray box, it'll, it'll break that down by each component here. So the very top you have game object, and it says the game object to search, child name, the name path to the child store, store the result in a game object variable. The Playmaker manual isn't only for actions. If you see on the left side here, it has all of the categories that you can use the manual for. So from all the way from installation to core concepts to known issues, frequently asked questions, all sorts of stuff. In the manual, uh, something I really recommend looking at is this core concepts page and just kind of taking a look over this because this is something that'll help you better understand like the nature of Playmaker. So that's the Playmaker manual, totally invaluable. So next we have the Playmaker Forum, and this is great in a couple ways. The first way is that it is a great deposit for people who have had the same problem as you in the past. So you can come here and just search whatever it is that you're running into. A quick thing to note though is when using the search feature on the forums, let's say you search like game object, when you get your results, you're taken here to this page of results, right? And then let's say you click on one of these. Now, while you're here and you've read through whatever answers you get, if you come back up here to search and you search like parent, it's gonna say, so sorry, no matches were found, which is kind of crazy because you'd think that the form would be totally filled with uh, things that have that word in it. Um, but that's because 
it's searched in that section, in that last section of the forum that you were in. So you see right here, it says Playmaker Forum, Playmaker Feedback, Featured Requests, uh, and this is where your search results are kind of coming from. You want to just remember, just, it's like, it's something that I'm pretty sure hindered me in the beginning that I didn't realize until a little later, that when you search something, you're going to want to click back on Home before you search. So now if I search Parent from the, in the main index, now we have all these results. So yeah, this is a great place to find answers to very specific problems you might be running in. Another thing to remember is just to kind of have that courtesy of looking as thoroughly as you possibly can, searching as many keywords as you possibly can before you end up making a new post in here asking to have help for your problem specifically. And that's just to be nice because, you know, people have things to do and your the answer to your problem might already exist and you don't want to waste anybody's time. So yeah, that's the Playmaker forum. There's also a Playmaker Discord. So um, if you search on here, you'll probably find, please make an official Discord. Um, there's an official Discord for some time already right here, this link right here. So I'll put all these links in the description, but you can also find it here. Again, this is like the forum where you want to search for your answer in as many other ways as possible that doesn't uh, involve kind of like taking up other people's time, uh, just to be nice, just to have some good etiquette about it. And I'll say that in the past, when I've posted in the Discord, I've gotten an answer almost immediately. You know, there are some people in there who are very helpful, very friendly. You shouldn't feel embarrassed to post there. Um, so if you're ever in a real jam and it's like, especially if like maybe you're on the clock, if you're trying to like beat the end of a game jam or something, that's a good place to go. Lastly uh, on here, I have the subreddit. It doesn't look like there's been many posts here in a while. I actually haven't really used this myself, but I thought it'd be worth putting in here because I did go through some of these links and they, they are pretty helpful things. So one of the last things on here is sort of a plug for the homies courses. It's $29 and I just got it recently and I got it really late in my journey of learning Unity and Playmaker. And I was kind of like, damn, you know, is this a bunch of shit that I already know? Um, but the answer is no, there's actually a lot of stuff in here that was still extremely useful to me um, as somebody who is, I would say, at an intermediate or advanced level of using Playmaker. Specifically, the course that I got was the Can't Code, Who Cares, Make Games Anyway course. And this is sort of a bunch of theory and Playmaker tutorials. So the reason this was good is because I've learned in such a hodgepodge way that there have been really tiny little things that have flown over my head that like I kind of like leave up to luck in ways. The thing about being self-taught and kind of learning things in a really non-linear way is that a lot of little things end up slipping by you or can end up slipping by you, for me at least. And so there are fundamentals that I've just gotten lucky and I have completely passed over and been able to do all this advanced stuff with, but have definitely posed a problem for me in the past and I just didn't really realize that those things were my problem. What's cool about this is that I've, as an advanced user, still been able to kind of go through this and I intentionally will watch videos about things that I already know how to do just in case there's that little nugget of information in there that will change how I look at things. And there's been plenty of that in this course. So besides teaching you all of the actual practical, useful Playmaker and Unity stuff, um, he goes into a lot of game theory, game design theory, and this really helps you start to conceptualize how to build your game because you can use Unity and Playmaker, you can uh, you know, know all of the components of it and the mechanics of it, but if you don't know how to kind of paint the broader picture of how a, a functioning game system should work, um, then you're gonna just overcomplicate things for yourself. So that's why I found this pretty useful. And then besides that, there's also things towards the end that are actually very useful for more intermediate and advanced users. And on top of that, he gives you these uh, these files here. So this will this this course will take you pretty far, from what I can see. I still haven't finished it, but um, but I see some of these later videos um, that I bet will be very helpful for me in the future. And the last resource is me, and I'm not some sort of crazy kung fu master, playmaker, Unity genius, but I do consider myself an intermediate to advanced user. So if you have any questions, if you're stuck on something, or if you're looking to solve a very specific problem that you haven't found any information on, then maybe I can make a tutorial for that. Just let me know in the comments, or if you want any information more on theory or sort of practice, kind of like this, how I'm explaining these resources out there, let me know, and I could also make a video for that.